during the house hearing, sinabi niya na meron siyang passport. No? At nandun yung kanyang real name. So DFA has his real name. So the government knows the real name of, 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 of uh, Chairman Iqbal. Kasi may passport niya siya. Ang sabi niya, yung kanyang real name is in the passport although he is using several aliases. Now, ibig sabihin nun, implicitly, nag binig binigay natin ng courtesy na yan na he continues to use his alias or aliases or yung at least yung isang alias na niya na Iqbal because that's not his real name. So, I think walang walang uh, hindi hindi masama yun. Hindi, hindi kailangan siguro maintindihan na that should also be considered as an exception. And hindi lang naman MILF. Yung mga iba pang mga organizations with which we have had peace negotiations in the past, I think some of them, if not most of them, also use known the girls because they need to physically surface. Kasi previously, underground sila. But since nakikipag-usap sila in a peace negotiations or peace talks, they have to surface. Now, there is real security concern kapag nagsasurface sila. So, and the use of aliases is one such measure to address any and all security concerns they may have kapag nakikipag-negotiate. Hindi ko nakikita magiging problema yan. I don't think it will affect the very authenticity or the legality of the document just because it is signed under a nom de guerre or under an alias. Kasi, inadmit na niya na alias niya yun. And, and therefore, since inadmit niya na alias niya yun at pinirmahan niya yung dokumento na yan under such an alias, he can no longer deny such representation of his. Pumapasok na dyan yung doctrine of estoppel. He is now in estoppel to deny that that is his signature, that he knowingly affix his signature on those agreements. So the agreement, the validity of the agreement, therefore, can also not be considered as having been affected.